Aloha Kapo. We are here in Honolulu, Hawaii to uh, protest in a sense what's called uh, Discoverers Day. We have renamed the day Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, we have taken back the day uh, for ourselves. We are here to remember and to honor the many Indigenous peoples who have come before us and all peoples who were subject to colonization, exploitation, and dis enslavement and dispossession over the past 500 years. Uh, on Columbus's second voyage to the Caribbean, he carried with him what's called the Interchedera Papal Bull. This document sanctioned Christian dominion and called for the subjugation of non-Christian peoples and their lands. Subsequently, tens of millions of indigenous peoples throughout Central America, South America, North America, worldwide, perished as a result of this document. We find it somewhat absurd that this day is called Discoverer's Day when we know that at least European discoverers or European voyagers discovered nothing. How could Captain Cook be the discoverer of Hawaii when the Kanakamoli people here were here for hundreds and hundreds of years previous uh, or since time immemorial? How could Columbus have discovered America when the peoples where he landed had been present there for thousands of years? How could Columbus have discovered America when he swore on his deathbed that he had made it to Asia after four trips circumventing the Caribbean Sea? So it is an absurdity. So we're calling uh, on attention, attention to this issue. Uh, we've been educating the public. Uh, we've been doing this act for 13 years now. This is the 13th anniversary. In 1992, a formal campaign uh, was initiated to revoke the Papal Bull Interchedera. This document has never been repealed. It is still on the books. Uh, in 2000, I co-coordinated co a delegation that went to the Vatican to seek the uh, revocation of this document. We had a request for an audience with the Pope that was endorsed by the Bishop of Honolulu. Uh, our delegation was turned down, our audience was turned down, but we went anyway and we had a good trip. We gave quite a few presentations and we had a uh, meeting with an official from what's called the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace. And they've examined the issue and they told us that Interchedera is no longer juridically valid. So we have therefore called on them to revoke it. And at this point, they, we haven't made much progress. <laughs> I would like to call attention to what we did last year. We did this uh, event in front of the Walmart um, on Keo Moku Street near Ala Moana. And this was in order to uh, shed more light on the Ivi Kapuna, the an ancestral remains that were dug up about six years ago when Walmart was built. Um, so we were there supporting um, the descendants who are trying to get those EV uh, put back into the ground and we had a quite, quite an event. Um, so you know this is part and parcel of the issue. It it's concerns many facets, it's, it's, it's complex in a sense, but um, again we're here to take back the day uh, for all those who have come before us and, and we now call it Indigenous Peoples Day and next year we will probably be working to change the name of the day uh, at the legislature. Mahalo. Oh, mahalo. And again, your name is? Uh, my name is Tony Castagna. And I'm is there uh, any way that they can reach you or do you have a website to shed more light on we this? We have a website. A probably the best way. I can't remember it offhand. Uh, but you could email me at castagna, C-A-S-T-A-N-H-A, -A -A, at hawaii.edu. That would be the best way and I can send you more information. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha. I'm just addressing my comments to my students. Thank you for coming. Don't forget you got to write a paper. Uh, um, the, the point I guess that we're trying to make because we're here next to this building. 
that in the name of religion, people have died and died and died and died. We're not talking about a few hundred or a few thousand. We're talking about millions, millions. <clears throat> One of the things we try to do when we come here every year is we try to remember them. In the same way that we try to remember our own personal ancestors who have gone down. Nobody knows who they are. They don't have any names. They died. Also, there were these millions of people who also perished. And when we're here and we look at these bulls, these symbolic means by which Catholics and all those people from Europe justified the killing. We try to remind ourselves that those people were living. They had lives, they had families, they had all kinds of things, same as we have right now, but they're invisible. And unless something like this happens yearly, they'll be invisible forever. It's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Nobody really knows and nobody cares. We don't know who they are. They don't have any names for us either. It doesn't mean that we should not recognize that they died. So today, when we burn these bulls symbolically, we remind ourselves, somehow, we have to take responsibility for that happening, and somehow, we have to hold accountable those people who are responsible for it. So I think what Tony's trying to do is to actually have the church revoke these bulls. People may think it doesn't matter because that was a long time ago and who cares? But it does matter and we do care. And the only thing we can do is burn the bulls. Symbolically say it's not okay, it was never okay and it's not okay now. So I think that's what we're gonna do right this minute. Tony? Any longer. Uh, so we're continuing in that campaign. Okay. And the Christians attack this town to spare neither the children nor the aged, nor pregnant women, nor women in childbed, not only stabbing them and dismembering them, but cutting them into pieces. You can hear when the moon shines bright, the lone poo ill in the black of the night. You can hear, you can hear the whisper in the valley. Mm -hmm. And you know. When come a cunny blows to the bar who drum It's the warriors who are marching mm -hmm. Down the mountain mm -hmm. Because history ain't no mystery to me Been marching to the pain and the loss that I see is boiling up in me Because the change has got to come You see, no marching in the dark Beware of the light mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the Kuna Hope, the 
Llevan a la ojo y que a ojo de ro. 